Hello guys, it's Kakwa here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Huawei Y9s and the Samsung Galaxy A70, both released in 2019, packing some amazing features. Let's find out the similarities and differences between these devices. Let's go to the video. Before we get to the similarities and differences of these devices, let's get some background details out of the way. The Huawei Y9s was released in November of 2019 at a cool price of 1,499 Ghana series, which is also equivalent to 270 US dollars. Whilst the Samsung Galaxy A70 was released in April of 2019 at a price of 1,999 Ghana series, which is also equivalent to 360 US dollars, but it's currently going for 1,800 plus on Jumia Ghana. When it comes to the design, the Y9s has a front and back glass and an aluminum frame and weighs about 206 grams. On the other hand, the A70 has a front glass and a plastic body and weighs around 183 grams. The differences in weights are really noticeable if you hold both devices in the hand, the Y9s being a little heavier than the A70. My unit of the Y9s is the Midnight Black, which I prefer because it's not so vibrant and I like my phones this way. The A70 on the other hand is a white color, which I thought I was going to hate in the beginning, but it's not so bad after all. I kind of like the way it reflects colors behind the phone and forms this rainbow-like design. I'll try as much as possible to get this on camera. Whilst on the back, both devices have a triple camera setup with a flash in a vertical format, which looks really minimal. None of these devices have a fingerprint sensor at the back, but both uniquely found a way to incorporate them in a smart and innovative way. On the right side of the device, you can find the volume up and down and the power button. The Y9s has its fingerprint sensor tucked right into its power button. At the bottom of both devices, you can find a microphone for regular calls and a downward facing speaker and a USB type C for charging and data transfer. At the top of the Huawei device, you can find a 16 megapixel pop-up camera, a dual SIM tray and a noise cancelling microphone. On the A70, at the top, you can only find the noise cancelling microphone. The dual SIM tray can be found on the top left side of the device. The A70 is not a small phone, but it is considerably thinner than the Y9s. Turning to the front, the Y9s has a 6.59 inch LCD display with a resolution of 1080p. The omission of the notch makes the screen look really clean. The A70 on the other hand has a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080p. With a teardrop notch which houses the 32 megapixel selfie camera. Both of the devices have minimal bezels with the Y9s having a slightly thicker chin compared to the A70. In terms of media consumption, the Y9s provides a full screen experience with no bezels or notch to distract your view. The viewing angles are really great and you don't see any color shift when you tilt the device. The display on the A70 produces a more contrasty image. Blacks look really deep, colors look more saturated compared to the Y9s. This is due to the AMOLED panel. The display on the Y9s is more on the cooler side, whilst that of the A70 is on the warmer side. Whites look a little bit brownish out of the box. When it comes to the sound, both devices sound really loud, but I'm not really a fan of the single firing speaker, since this easily gets blocked when you're holding device and consuming content. Under the hood, we have a 4,000 hour milliampere battery in the Y9S and a 4,500 milliampere battery in the A70. The Y9S is powered by a high silicon Kirin 710F chipset, whilst the A70 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 chipset. Both devices have 1 to 8 gigabytes of storage and run on a 6 gigabytes RAM. Let's do an app opening speed test to see if this actually translates in everyday usage since these are significantly apart from each other. 
So first, I'm going to clear the phone memory and turn both devices off and on to see which one starts first. The Samsung lights up first, but wonderfully the Huawei starts up faster than the Samsung. Then I go ahead and try a couple of apps to see which apps get launched faster. The first app is Twitter and the Huawei open this faster. The second was Instagram and again the Huawei open it faster. The third will be YouTube and yet again, the Huawei device beats the Samsung device. Next, we open the PUBG and the Huawei seemed to have started faster, but the Samsung kind of opened the app faster. Next, we tried Subway Surfers and the Huawei seemed to open this faster again. Lastly, we tried Asphalt 9 and the Huawei device beat the Samsung device again. Now let's check out those cameras. The Y9S has a 48 megapixel main shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. This shoots videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The A70 on the other hand has a 32 megapixel main shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixel depth camera. This also shoots videos in 4K at 30 frames per second. These are some sample pictures taken with both cameras. When it comes to the pictures, the Y9S seems to be producing more saturated pictures compared to the A70. This came as a surprise to me because I felt Samsung devices are known for producing very saturated pictures. In the videos, the Huawei seemed to perform really well. The video looks really steady as compared to that of the Samsung. So I guess there's no image stabilization in the Samsung device and the Huawei seemed to do really well with stabilization. So this is a video test of the front facing cameras. What do you think? Um, I think the background is a little bit blown out. I can see what's going on in the background at all but uh, I seem to be focused on my face really well and what do you think about the sound does it sound great what do you think when it comes to security the Huawei device has an inbuilt fingerprint sensor in its power button whilst the Samsung Galaxy A70 has an in-display fingerprint sensor I must say these fingerprint sensors work, but the Huawei Y9S's fingerprint sensor is the fastest amongst these two. So I want to end this by talking about some of the additional features on the Y9S and the A70. On the Y9S, it has high vision, a feature that scans, identifies objects and images with your camera and gives you information about goods, landscapes, famous paintings, measures food calories to help you stay fit. And the side mounted fingerprint sensor, which works kind of 99% of the time for me. I really, really like it. The A70 also has an in display fingerprint sensor, which I find to be really, really innovative. I like it. I like the direction they are going there. Okay, so this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I want to know your comments, your thoughts, questions, anything. Leave it in the comment section down below. Let's get interactive. If you're new to this channel, I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you for spending time with me. I'll see you in my next upload. Peace. Bye.